waiting, boys. I've started. There's no stopping now. I'm in. And I am exhausted already before we even start. Okay, so I'm in, guys. I've started. What is going on, guys? My name is Jack, and welcome to another video, and welcome to my live stream where I am playing Clash Royale, and today we are trying to get into Arena 9. I really want to. It's taken a long time. We're going to try and get there. I saved up a lot of stuff to do, so we can work on our ways, and let's get into this. So before we do this, let's go and pick a song. So let's go to YouTube. Need to listen to some music. Right, okay, let's go this and let's There we go. So guys, I'm just trying that out. Okay, let's pause this and let's jump into the game. So what are we doing today? We have checking this, we're checking everything. I haven't been on it. What I did get was my beautiful legendary lava hound to level two i was i got the legendary chest here and i bought it with the gems and i was like right okay hopefully i get graveyard and no they dropped me with another lava hound so we're like you know what we're gonna rock it we're gonna play this so i don't know how well this deck's gonna go but we're gonna try it for a bit let's warm up what do we need to do for quests that's what we need to do we need to farm these fat quests just open chests. We can do that. That's easy. Let's go. Whew. So let's get straight into the game. And what do we do with the Lava Hound? We wait until later on. Because he is a fat motherfucker. And it's hard to bring him out. So we are going to play the balloon here. And you do exactly what you do with the giant. He preps for it. And we're not going to do anything. We're actually going to place our graveyards here and then cycle for arrows. And ready? Follow it. There you go. I'm happy with that. So then we get one fat hit on the tower. And we're going to swarm him with these. Ready? There we go. Oh, we missed it. We missed it, guys. Come on. Right. Uh. There we go. And then we can use Love Hound. Ready when it comes onto my side. There we go. Love side. And then what we do is then we play Knight. So now. There we go. And then once we do that we go Bob. And okay we're starting to do a good push. This is alright obviously. He's got a level 2 giant. It's kind of, kind of strong. Okay, so what, what do we want to do here? I think we need to wait. Okay, we've got to cycle this next time. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to literally wait. He played his minion already and his wizard. So does that mean he's open for an attack or are we just going to wait? He's going again, so I am happy with this. There we go. Oh, if he got that. Okay, ready? So we're going to have to do... Play this. He's going to play... Okay, he's playing that. That's fine by me. We can do this. And then arrows everything. There we go. And then let's go here. Okay, so then we're going to drop our... Okay, he's taking out a turret. That's fine by me. Okay, he's fucking doing so many of these. Piss off. Right, we should have this turret low, to be fair. Right, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm trying to do here is just get this dude out of the way. He somehow survived that. Oh, we used the balloon thing. Okay, fine. Yep. Okay, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Right, I'm happy with this. K. 
Okay, now let's scare him with this. Come on. Boop. There we go. Phew. I think we won this. <laughs> well played, guys. That was an easy one. It, was, it got it got a little bit frustrating once he started. Oh, we actually cycled. Damn. Okay. Did I didn't hit that? I didn't hit that. No. Fuck. That was a waste. I am so sorry, guys. Okay, let's cycle both balloons. Oh, he's wasted eight elixir. Okay. So nine, seven, six, five, four. Okay, we're tying this. We're tying this. Oh, so close. I would have won that as well. That's annoying. I was almost certain that I would have won that, to be fair. So, I am kind of gutted by that. God damn it. But anyway, how are you doing, guys? If you're tuning into the stream, I am Jack, and welcome to my stream. If you enjoy, hit the like button, say hi in the chat, and yeah, let's have a great time. I'm just playing Clash Royale. I've had an absolutely hectic day. So, I just need to relax, kick back, and get some Ws, but at the moment, I'm just drawing. <sighs> Sorry for drinking into the mic, that's absolutely revolting. Uh, <laughs> so, what we're going to do, we're going to go... Okay, nice, he's, he's cycling that. Oh, okay. Uh, guess I'll just do this. I don't know what I'm going to do here, really. He's actually getting, like, insane value. Okay, so, balloon that side. And then, ready. Uh, oh, nice. I tried to pre-do it. But, no, it didn't work. Sadly. But we got two. We got, like, one big hit on it, I think. Yeah, gone. Okay, so, no, I'll, uh, um... Okay, Nice. He took one tower out because he'd done an insane attack. Right, okay, so let's go. Don't know why I put that there, but that's fine. Okay, switch. I put him in the wrong position. Now, where I don't know where that came from. I don't know where this mini... Um, this, uh, <laughs> don't know why I decided just to put, put down the rogue... The rogue um, skeleton graveyard to try and do something. Right, there we go. Let's take down the turret like that. Uh, right, there we go. And then we go to this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to push through. And we're going to wait. We're going to have to wait 17 seconds. We're going to place a graveyard here this time. And see how well we push. He's actually gone Hog Rider. Which is impressive. I didn't think he was going to do that. So we're going to place our knight here. And let's go. Right, okay. He's getting, he's freaking out at the moment. So this is fine. Uh, we've got to try and counter what he plays so this is yeah he's gonna trade his, his, oh oh okay um can we potentially make this just a win for us would need to place a graveyard here he's gonna have to cycle so now he's got this and then we've got this as well so we're gonna place the tower here okay so we're going into the next round so what we're gonna do here we are going to place our balloon straight away. Place another Inferno. And he's gone Bob's. We're going to start splitting these. Place another Graveyard. There we go. We got the W. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Easy as that. Oh. He is. It's, you can't. You can't just let the Inferno do what he wants. That's stupid. Oh, GG. Right, okay, let's go. Do we play Lava Hound straight away? And then we use our Knight as defensive. 
Or a graveyard as leech. Yeah, let's go. This is a very aggressive play. But... Right, so this is this is the play. So we trade this. Right, nice. Okay, so Lava Hound's going to do work. But we all trade together. And then I have a Elixir Advantage. So this is actually going well. Uh, this arrow is this. Okay, Lava Hound. Uh, Inferno Drake's not great against... All of them minions, but my spear goblin is. So let's get my spear goblin going. Oh, is my lava drake gonna hit? No, I keep saying lava drake. Is my um, inferno drake gonna start hitting the tower? And look how much damage he does. It's nearly gone in one hit. That's insane, guys. So we place our lava hound here. So he starts aggroing that, and my turret can start picking off people. And then we're going to. We're going to place an Inferno Drake on the opposite side. This is the plan. Right, okay. So now we've got to, got to cycle our cards like we always do. So what we do is we place this there. And now we wait. We wait to see what he does as a play. Now we've got one tower. We can play a lot more defensive. So we don't have to worry about taking another tower we won this game in one minute so we just have to worry about what he's got he's got a minion horde he's got not minion horde sorry he's got a giant he's got a witch there's a giant so we're gonna say we're gonna use our rocket on the bridge so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place that there just so he puts time into this and then when he starts building stuff on the bridge okay so it's valkyrie i don't want to place valkyrie with that personally. So what we're going to do is place my Lava Hound here. So my Witch jumps onto it. My Inferno Drake. He doesn't know what to do here. So I'm going to place them there. And I'm going to arrows all of this. Okay so he actually got annoyingly got aggroed. But that's fine. We can place our balloon right here. And if you see. my Both my turrets are doing damage. We're going to lose our one on the left side. But my balloon on the right. On the left side sorry. Has just taken him out. So. From that, okay, we just got to let Inferno Drake do work. Look how much damage he does. But in two, one, that's another win. Let's go. Okay, so what do you guys think? What do you think about this deck? Is it going well? But, okay, so. Let's start opening these chests. We don't use, we don't need silver chests. Oh. I just wish you could open them automatically. There we go. Let's see what they're wanting. Hi, I think I'm going to go legendary. Okay, so now let's go battle. So we need four more wins. So let's see if we can get a free crown here. At level nine, it's going to be a lot more challenging. Right, so we're just going to wait, play a little bit defensive. Let's see what he plays. I think I might just play a Inferno Drake because it's my cheapest card, which isn't defensive. Well, it is defensive, but... Uh, now let's actually put a Lava Hound in front. Let's see how he deals with this. This is a really, really strong push, so. And then I'm going to Missiles for insane damage onto the tower. There we go. So this is gross. This is, this was a very strong push and his whole counter was to try and kill me. Uh, okay, Night Witch, we're going to go Balloon here. There we go, they should leech to this. And then this, when we go here. Take out all of them, we put our Knight for the Miner. Oh, okay, that's annoying. The Miner is such a strong card. I just hate the fact that if you use him well, he's just a big tank that aggros, and it's just so frustrating. Okay, so we know he has Miner, so how do we counter Miner in this deck? There's no... We don't have a way to counter Miner. It's really irritating. Okay, so we can actually Inferno Drake this. And then we can actually do this. Look, ready? Really. 
Okay, so then we go here. Do we play anything, or would you, do we just play defensive? I don't know. I think we play defensive here. So we go Lava Hound. This is this is a Lava Hound play. This is Lava Hound with bandits and knight. Just making sure that we have the advantage in minions, so the Lava Hound can't do anything. And now we place the graveyard in front. So if the miner does decide to attack, he will end up going for that one. So there we go. Now we go balloon at this side. Get ready for his arrows. Okay, he's going to play Inferno Drake. That's okay for us. We just bomb this. Okay, he's done such a strong push at the moment. And I don't know how to deal with this because... I tunnelled and tried to wait for a push. We lost that turret. We've lost the game because of that. I know for a fact. 100%. We lost that game because I decided to push for a turret. If I stayed and defended, I might have been able to do something. But because I wasted 6 elixir to try and do just a little bit more damage on the tower, we lost. So that just proves that playing defensive is like the best way to win. By far. It's like if you play defensive all the time. You beat their minions. And then your minions just get little chip damage every time you eventually win. So. What are we going to do now though? Let's go and. He's going to play witch. We are going to play. Uh, let's play balloon just to cycle. We are going to use this rocket on whatever he plays. Oh fantastic value. There we go. That's what we like to see. That's so much value. And then what we do is we place our minions here. To start shanking away. And what do we do now? Are we going to go knight? Yeah, let's go knight. Okay. So we've gone inferno. Now we want to go into... What do we want to go into? I think... we. What do we need? We need... We need to just wait. We need to wait and see what he plays. Because, okay, so he's got knight. That's fine by me. What we can do is we can place this here. And he's going to go for that. He's going to go for this. He's going to get killed. The witch will think he's doing some kind of splash damage. But really, she's just going to get screwed over by the knight. Look at this. Easy. Easy game. And then we arrows. And then he didn't learn his lesson the first time. So we're clearly going to bomb the shit out of him. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, oh, damn! He think he's got balls. Okay, fine. You wanna you wanna play that game? Let's go. He might take this tower. It's fine. It's fine. It's only a tower. We can get one. But so the second it goes into um, double elixir, we basically have a huge advantage. We're gonna place our balloon now. Okay, so we got this tower. Look how... Oh, he used a free spell. That's a nice free spell. I can't believe he did that. What a dick. Oh, damn. Okay, so what we're going to do. What we're going to do. The Lava Hound's going to attack. We're going to get this point. Go on. Go, 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 Lava Hound. Okay, so we got this. And now we're going to play... Our Lava Stone on this side. Lava Stone. Tombstone on this side. And now we are... Bombing this. Look, ready? Look at this fat value we're going to get. Oh, beautiful. It's annoying now, and um, we don't obviously get the, the knight in that, because if it did... How's it going, Richard? How are you today? Okay, so, come on, bomber, bomber, just... Please piss off. Just go. Okay. Uh, this is fine by me. We are... Okay, he didn't learn his lesson. Let's go. He keeps on putting them behind there. He should really put them in the middle. Because then what that means is... Okay, it's, it's tie. Oh, what the fuck? I honestly thought I had a turret already. That's why I was going for the other one. I would have... Just... Why? Why? It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Don't judge me, Richard. Oh... God damn it. Is this on Apple? Um, no, I'm 
it, it can be on Apple device. I'm playing mine on um, an emulator just because it's a lot easier to record and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's on um, Apple, Android, it's on basically every single thing. Okay, look at this. We are getting fat value. This is beautiful. Oh, you wondered how it's recording. Yeah, you can record, um, yeah, on Apple and stuff. I personally prefer, I use something called Nox Player, and it's absolutely sick. It's so good. It's, um, it's cool because it means you can play basic and uh, run it on a PC. So you, my phone, my phone's good, but there's quite high demand in games that come out nowadays, but they don't compete to PC ever. So it makes it easy to run. And then, yeah, it's just, I use OBS to record and stream. So, you know how it is. That's how we do. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, let's get this in. Let's get this tower out of the way. But anyway, how are you today? What is your day been? Are you just waking up? Are you just about to go to sleep? How has your day been? Oh, baby, there we go. That's the second one. I need errors. I played this on an iPad Mini and recently hit Marina 10. Jeez, nicely done. I um, I don't know. This is I'm not very good at this game. Annoyingly. Uh, I don't. I really want to get good at it so badly. I just. I don't know if it's my cards that need to improve or it's just me doing shit plays. It's mostly like me just doing shit plays. So. But yeah, it's like oh. Uh, it's 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 bad plays. It's my levels of my cards that are important as well. And it's also the fact that I don't, um, wait, wait, wait. Why has he just decided to play it in minor now? It's like, he can take that tower. Oh, that's all well and good. But that's not going to do shit for him. That was stupid on him. That was so bad. Oh, my God. Oh, them, them arrows. Them arrows, man. Oh my god, <laughs> they were disgusting. Uh, <laughs> so yes, uh, what what I lack in is I don't concentrate enough. Uh, I don't. I always want to go for that, you know, that free crown win every single time, which is probably the reason why I'm still stuck in Arena Nine and my level. I'm like nearly level nine, and I've only just started leveling up my cards to get them to like higher levels because they were stuck. Literally, my highest card was my skeleton, which was level 8, and everything was level 6. So and then I was going into Arena um, 9, the jungle one, when I, which was really cool. And I was ready. I was ready to go, and I just got screwed over. I can see you talking, but Clash Royale is frozen. God damn it. But thank you. Thank you so much for telling me. Why has it frozen? Come on. Why are you doing this to me, buddy? Let's figure this out, shall we? Let's go here. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, Photoshop. There we go. Fantastic. I am a new streamer, clearly. And... Yeah, no worries, dude. Yeah, thank you for telling me anyway. Like, I appreciate it. Yeah, have a good one. Right, okay, so let's unlock this chest. Let's go. Okay, two more chests. Two more chests, guys, and then we can go. So. Let's get it done. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, we'll, we'll pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so. Let's go. Tombstone into night. Depending on what he plays, knowing what he plays, he's going to play giant right here, ready? Oh, he's going to go musketeer, you dirty boy. He can shoot that from there? Okay, I did not know that. Uh, that was a misplay. 
There we go. I, yeah, I just needed to spam that. There we go. Okay, I have committed. Okay, he's committed. Uh. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Uh. Bob. There we go. Let's stop this, please. Oh, I thought he, I thought it was gonna get a double attack. Oh, uh, if he did, I would not have been happy. Right, let's play this just to check if I'm. I'm sorry, you didn't have to hit my voice. I just need to see if I'm actually everything's going well. I don't want it to crash again. Okay, I've do that. I missed the. Oh my god. That's a tilter. That's a tilter right there. <laughs> right, okay. So, we're getting this. Uh, let. Oh, my God. Okay, thank God for that. Um... Right, okay, come on. Oh my god, he got the turret. Right, okay. I don't know why it took him so long to do that, but fair enough, buddy. Come on. Come on. Right. I need to cycle. I need to cycle to get back to that card so I can do damage again. Don't think I'm going to make it. Don't think I'm going to make it. Two. One. <gasps> Fuck me. Fuck me. That was fucking beautiful. Oh my god. That just made me go. Oh. Did you see? Did you see that rocket? That did things to my body. Okay, uh, let's fucking get this prick over here. Come on. Come on, you dick. Let's win. Let's win. Come on. Fuck. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. Okay, we need... Um, let's put that there. I'm going to have to bomb all of this. I'm going to have to. Okay, I missed the balloon. Fuck. Oh, I thought we had that win. Uh, what could I have done to win? Uh, I don't know. What could I have done to win, chat? Apart from not suck. Oh. Right. God damn it. Um, did we get our chest? We need one more win. Okay, so we need one more win to get this. I don't want to donate. I don't want to level up. Because that's going to piss me off. Okay, what do you want, you fucking prick? Let's go. Uh, uh, let's go Lava Hound into nothing. No. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. Oh. Guys, I kind of freaked out. Okay, we have arrows next time he does something like that. If he next time drops a shit bomb like that, we're just going to arrows it. There we go. There you go, you prick sandwich. Let's go. Oh, my God, them bats. Why is he playing such a gross deck? It's just low-cost minions, and he's going to beat me with it. 
Right, okay. Uh, there we go, there we go. Uh, we need to start cycling some of the good cards. Because he spams loads, which is... Right, that's a important card to kill. 100%. Because he is doing fat damage with that. Right, uh, my cards are maybe not the best. I'm just going to place the balloon here as a suicide bomber. Because that's probably the best strategy I've got. Uh, and then Lava Hound here. And then here. Right. Come on, I placed you. Right, okay, so come on. So what we're going to do now, we are going to go... We are going to... Oh my god, please. You know, a Lava Hound here, and then they can just do what they want. I don't know why he's gone for that, but it's fine by me. And then Lava Hound is just going to... Oh my god, he's going to do it by himself. He's going to... Oh no, he's not. Okay, fine, there we go. Let's take that and get rid of it so we know we've got this. There we go. He's just trying to cycle really quickly to try and think... Trying to, he's trying to outsmart us, guys. That's what he's doing. He thinks, he thinks he's the top dog here. He thinks, look at me, I'm the level 9. And I'm like, you know what, buddy? Okay, go, go, go. Oh, my God, no. Okay. Okay, we have to bait out it, and then... Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, my God, fucking... This is fat, this is fat. This is nice. I need to just place this. I need to do the barrel up here. Okay. Oh, he's gone for that. He's gone for the graveyard. Okay, we're going Lava Hound. And if we can protect the Lava Hound. If we protect the Lava Hound. Okay, look, ready? Okay, now arrows. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Get the bomber in. Get the bomber in. Come on, man. Come on. Easy. He's just getting my life. I'm stuck at level 5 and can't progress. Any help? Love your content. Thank you. And, uh... I don't know. I'd have to see how you play and what you do. Mostly... If you're stuck at level 5 and it's what your cards are. What's your name? Let's see your name. If you um, go to your thing at the top. I can go clash stats and check your name. And check what deck you're playing. And what levels they are and stuff. So I can see if it's your level. Is it what you can do to play. But we can get you at that. We'll do it. I promise. We'll get you out. Oh, right. Nice. And then another quest. Look at all of this fat cash. I'm just... Oh, I'm just milking all the, all the cards. Yeah, yeah. If you uh, say your name, how to find your name if you do not know is to go here. And, oh, no, that's not that. Um, let's go. Where'd you go? Uh, that's a bloody good question. <laughs> here, look. Okay, so you see here, then you look at my name, and you've got this little bit that says hashtag 8C. That will be your one. You put it in the chat, and then I can check what deck you're playing. I can see what, what you need to do if you're going to be playing that deck. Most of the time, most of the time, it's just uh, defensive. So you see how I only won that game because I had the arrows to counter um, him having flying minions. So if you keep a mental note in your head what cards they have, then most of the time, it's just about you playing around it. So, uh, basic one, if you, I'm not great, so this is, if, this is to help you get to my level, but to, um, to learn to then be like, okay, well, I've got my giant, my giant beats the crap out of a tower, so how do I deal with that? And that would be like, okay, well, they use a skeleton army to kill my giant every single time, so what do I need? I need to have 
something like a splash damage troop or a spell to deal with skeletons. But you need to make sure that it's elixir advantage because skeletons cost... Skeletons you're looking at costing like two free, um, two, free elixir it is for skeleton army. And you don't want to obviously place a rocket or a fireball into that. So that's how you do it. Hope that helped. I don't know. I try my best. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know why he's saying wow. Wow, he's spamming the wows. Uh, don't want to place down that, so I'm going to place down this. See, the first instinct was to go... Oh, okay, that's a mistake on his part, because now I can do this into balloon. And what happens is now he's trying to kill my lava drake, and I get a free hit on the balloon. That range on that guy. What a spellcaster. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Let's go, let's go. Um, this into graveyard. Uh, what is going on? I know I know what, exactly what I'm doing wrong. I'm just, just I lost that tower because of my positioning basically. So Come on, get rid of that. There we go. So what I wanted to do then to win that tower was to just wait a little bit longer so I could place minions behind them so then they could leash onto that. But we all make mistakes. I make a lot more mistakes than I do good ones. So let's place my Lava Hound here so we can... The cannon will do damage to him. And then my Lava Hound... Okay, he's not doing damage to him. You know what? Fuck it. And then we're going to place my arrows waiting. Ready? Okay, come on. Arrows, arrows, buddy. He's not going to do arrows, so... I can't kill both of them, so you know what? I'm going to just place this on this side. Leash this here. So he goes for that. Place the Inferno Drake. Place the minions here. Place the knight there. So the knight's getting it. He's leashing that onto it. Okay, we have to kind of get rid of this. If we can, please. We are taking fat heat right now, by the way. Uh, we need to... Okay, skeleton barrel there. Okay, he's not going to be able to kill both, I hope. I hope he's not going to be able to kill both. Okay, so my rocket does 17. Am I going to get there? Okay, yeah, 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 I'll check in a second. Right, okay, so uh, let's go balloon. I'm not going to win this. I'm not going to get this, unfortunately. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. Right, okay. Uh, so. That was a bad game. It's all about just knowing what you play. So, right, let's check out your deck. So I go... Um, so go stats royale, and then I can check your deck for you, and see what you are rocking and what cards you got. Why did it not work? Come on, buddy. Right, okay, so, uh, what you in, this also, what this does, is if you've ever been on a site, it'll tell you what your next cards are, so you, your upcoming chest will be, you'll get a silver, and then in five, in four more chests, you're gonna get a gold chest. Why? Because I'm a psychic, and I know that, I am psychic Sally. Okay, but, that's besides the point. Okay, so, your win conditions, your losses... Your losses. Uh, okay, so you're playing. Uh, what are you playing at the moment? What have you got? 
Okay, I'm seeing a lot of uh, witch with... Okay, okay. Cards. Now, what we're going to do is just check your level cards. Level 3 giant. Okay, that's very, very weak. Uh, how long have you been playing? You haven't got many cards, so obviously you're new to the game, so that's fine. Um, right, so to climb up, what you want to do is you want to try and figure out... You want to prioritise cards. <coughs> Sorry. You want to prioritise cards that you think will work well in a deck and what they counter so what do you know so just look let's look at what deck you've got at the moment so i'm looking at the deck okay you just got stomped by playing the skeleton army minion um so you have the fireball giant witch um zap tower army um skeleton army wizard lightning bolt and um mini pecker okay so likelihood is you, when you played into that fight, you either went into playing, you went in too deep. So what could have happened, I'm just hypothetically here, is you thought in your head, okay, you know he's got a giant, so you play, um, you play the gi um, skeleton army with the giant. Maybe the witch kills them all. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you've wasted that, and then he plays the pecker, and then everything doesn't die. And then the pecker just stomps on you. Sorry, I hit the mic. That's a common common thing that happens. Pecker low levels is really bad to deal with. <sighs> You're new, just looking for some help. Okay, so we've got this. So, uh, let's look at your cards. Uh... Your your witch is very good. Witch is a great card to play. Witch with giant is good. Witch with... You've got dragon as well. Do you know what's a good combo? Dragon and prince. The guy who spears people. Because what happens is... If you place the uh, prince first, okay? What happens is the prince... Okay, so I could actually even try and build this deck for you right now. Um, and try and show you how to play it. I, uh, let's go here. Let's quickly level this up. Right, okay, so what we've got here. This is going to be a replica of the deck you have at the moment. And what? why is it so good, I'll tell you. Um, so we got here. We want uh, the Buddy Prince. Oh my god, look at that. Beautiful. It's like his... So we want the prince. We want the dragon. Uh, we do we. You can decide personally. Um, you want a built a turret. Uh, turrets are good for the zap one's really strong. I personally prefer the graveyard. Why do I prefer the graveyard? Is because it's. A really good tool for cycling. It doesn't do much damage. But you can leash stuff quite well. So what we do is put that there. And now you. So then you need to think. Okay you need some spells. So you go arrows. Have Yeah yeah. What's your arrows at? Arrows level 6. We're sticking with arrows. We've got arrows. And what's your fireball? Arrows and fireball would be a really nice combo. It's probably the best combo. Because your fireball deals with the big troops. And it makes them really weak. And then your arrows finish them off basically. So. Go here. Let's go with. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. What, do, what are we missing? We need more air troops. So you've got level 5 minions. Which is very nice. Level 5 minions. And. Uh, it's quite heavy. So. We need something small. Maybe a... Maybe... um, I'd say maybe minions here. Level 6 minions. Okay. So, this is just a standard deck. It, you could literally build the worst deck. Uh, should I... Uh, my favourite is Witch. Okay. We can, we can fit Witch into it. Witch is really good. So, what you'd do for Witch would just be... Um, Take out 
uh, if you wanted Witch, you could just take out Prince and swap it in. You'll just have to make sure that your Giant gets there safe. So what you'd have to do is make sure that there's always a Witch and a Dragon, or you have a Witch and Arrows. Um, so we'll do that now. You like you like the Badass Witch? Let's do it. Let's go. We'll take out the Prince, and let's go. So this deck is pretty pretty strong, pretty solid. So we'll show you how to do this. So what we've got now is our first cards. You notice that he's playing a spawn deck. So you, what you want to do is try and value. So a fireball onto this is the best thing you can do. I can place this here. And then the barbarians will come towards this. Which makes it really inconvenient for him. He's placing more and more towers. So this is going to be quite easy for me once I start cycling. So, so what we want to do is place minion hordes here. <clears throat> Sorry, and then we're fireballing this. You notice I kill, I hit all three here, and then that does insane damage to all of his towers, and that's a big deal for him because that his deck relies on him bringing out more minions. So what happens is he starts to, um, he starts to make a big push, and that's good. What does cy um, cycling mean? Okay, so um. Cycling's literally circling deck, um, circling some cards around. So when you have a low cost, um, like minion, like minions, you want to cycle them round so they can do stuff. Um, so I'm not wearing this probably. Um, okay, so you play giant. You have eight cards in your deck. You have four displayed. So the second you play the giant, you have to wait for a rotation of four cards before you can play it again. If you understand that. So then what that would mean is that you've got to play four cards. And obviously, if you start playing cards that are really expensive, it's going to take you a while to get to your giant. So at the moment, this guy's kicking my ass, but it's fine because what we do is we just have to prioritize. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm trying to cycle to get a um, good rotation. Um, so I my rotation might be... Rotation just means like combo. So I might want, okay, dragon and... Um, I want dragon and play that into all of his minions. So we're taking a lot of heat now. That's fine. So we go dragon. And now we play giant. Then we play witch. Then we play goblins. And then we play minions. And see how low all these min um, cost cards are. And we're back to dragon already. And then we could literally cycle through all of these. And start building up. Obviously I... The reason I lost this was one of the decks, probably a poor build. I'm not the greatest at building decks. If I was, I'd be in a lot higher rank. Um, but it's just like you could pro play like any deck and climb up like the beginnings. It's quite easy. It's like you get to a certain point and everyone knows what they're doing. But yeah, we'll just we'll just say we lost this one. We'll play the other version because I can play that one a little bit better. But yeah, any deck requires more practice, but... Uh, yes, yeah, cycling is, if you want to just think of it as, if you're, your win condition, which means the way you win the game. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, we can get the wins back, that's how we do it, this is, it'll be easy. So we can get the wins back, but your win condition will be the giant. In this deck, if you wanting to play this deck, you can. Pro it's probably better to net deck. Like um, net deck means find a deck online and just see what they do. But yeah, your win condition is that. And then what you have to do is, best way to beat someone is to not play aggressive until you do your counter push. A counter push is defensive cards. So um, let's go into another game. With this deck and see what it is. That deck was spawner deck. So there's obviously. Annoyingly with any deck. You will have your disadvantages. So ours was. Clearly spawners. I guess. So you want to play. As defensive as possible. And then react with aggressive plays. So I'm like here. I don't want to play giant straight away. Because I know he can kill it. So I am going to play my tombstone. And then he plays tombstone. We play the witch on this side. And then we're actually, then the second he starts fighting this witch, 
we can start arrowsing and then shank him with the goblins. And now we have so much more, and he's just wasted a zap spell, one of the spells he has, and now we're going to hit the tower. And it's small damage, but it makes a difference, and we still have the giant for a big push. And how see how much elixir we've got. So we wait, we play dragon at the back. You always play cards at the back most of the time, but we're actually playing it there just because he aggressively pushed. And we're going to wait until he hits my character. And now we're going to place this at the back. Right. So now if you look, I am now, my witch is coming here. I place it right next to the bridge. So now we have just done a counter push. So we stopped him pushing. And now we've just got a big beefy tank in front of the witch. He tries to stop me by using arrows, which is fine. That's a good play. What they do is when they get better. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> yeah, is it, well, it is shanking them, isn't it? It's like, that's how they win. Um... So, yeah, and then once you've done that counter push, you see that, that, um, the giant, okay, we just, we just lost, this is, this is fine, don't get tilted by this, this is cool, it's fine to, it's fine to lose a, lose a few, a few hits, because we're still gonna win, I'll promise we'll win this, if I don't win this, then, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, really, I just, I, I didn't, I didn't promise anything then, I guess. So there's arrows, all of this, and please hope that I can kill something. But yeah, once you get into higher levels, they do stuff like this. What they do is they get their giant, and then they put them in between you two. So you and your little friend, um, the giant here, gets separated. So then your witch just gets killed. So that's kind of the depressing point, which is it's kind of upsetting. Right. Okay, so we're going to go Witch, counter this, bring him down, and now we're going to go into final time. And then we've got the Valkyrie there. We're going to place our Witch on this side, because what that does is it starts shooting. We're going to place the arrows here to get rid of the Goblin. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Oh, okay, I was so slow on that. That's fine. You see, you see how it is, like, come on, come on. I am the worst teacher on the planet. Let's be honest, I suck. But you you get what I mean. This is this is a high level. They know how to play these like these strategies. Like the first ones are easy. Where where are you? You're five, so you're here. Oh, I remember when I was here. Ha! Oh, this was this was good times when I was here. It was like this was this was still the point. Like um, when I played a game, I'd get really nervous that I was in a game. So I was like, oh my god. Uh, Okay, I'm about to start. What about if I lose? I'm going to get deranked. And I was like, I, I'd always get this, like, butterflies before I play. And I was like, it, I took it really seriously. And I was like, I need to climb, I need to climb. And then, yeah, and then I get shot back down again. So, but then I've got, now I've got used to literally losing all the time. And then climbing back up and then doing the same. Anyway, we're going back to my beefy deck here. Because we, we want some wins. We want to climb. I can't, I can't be playing this deck, Jessica. It doesn't help. <laughs> Please don't give away any more trophies. I won't. I won't. I, I won't, mate. I'll, I can't, like... I can't let other people win. That's just disgusting. So, difference with my deck, my weakness is if he plays a lot of ground troops. So, but that's what how I can counter with certain cards, so... Call me Jess, okay. Oh, uh, no, 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 okay, beautiful. Beautiful play. But yeah, it's it's a great game. It's a, it's very fun to play, the most frustrating game in my life. I, it pisses me off all the time, but it's fine. It's just because, uh, it's just because I am very, oh my god, it's crashing on me. It's crashing on me. I can't even handle this game on my computer now. Uh, no, thank you. Let's wait and play Lava Hound, and then you'll have you haven't got any legendaries yet. But when you do, oh, when you do, you'll find one legendary, and you'll be like, Jesus Christ, what is this? But 
I I went free to play to start off with, and I was like, okay, I'm never going to buy legendaries or never buy any cards. And then obviously, and then I started. I wanted to start streaming more, and I did that whole convincing thing where I was like, well, it's a free to play game, so technically I'm putting a lot of hours into it. So technically I should buy gems. And then I was like, but damn it. So <sighs> okay, we're placing this here. Uh, we're going to place our arrows here and Inferno Drake to take out the balloon. And now we just wait and he starts pushing into my Inferno Drake. And you know what? I'm going to place a balloon on the right hand side to just take out his tower. Let's go. Ho ho. So look how much damage that does. It's beautiful. The balloons are a very nice card. Every single there's a lot of cards that are nice in this game. I just know how to play this deck. This like one of this is one of my stronger decks. Uh 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 let's go this I guess. There we go. Oh no 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 no. Right, okay. Uh what we're gonna go, we're gonna play he's gonna go here. We're actually gonna bring out these goblins. Look at these. You know you need a trusty two shank I told you earlier? Well this is like six of them. So that's that's what you get when you level up. And now my balloon's coming in for the big slam. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Be beautiful. He has it. He has it. Uh, wouldn't waste money too much to buy. Yeah, true. Well, I, I I said the same, but I did like I was like, no, I've got I've got to buy Christmas presents, and then that's how I convinced myself that well, this is a Christmas present for me. So, oh my god, am I gonna lose this? Oh my god! I could have I could have arrowed that right at the beginning. I just watched him destroy me. Okay, these are the plays that you shouldn't do. When you see someone playing cards like that and you want to attack, just counter them instantly. Oh, for me, I don't react. See, I'm much like when I do when I do streams, when I try and do videos, I'm I need to try and work on being good at a game while talking. I'm more focused on the interaction than the actual gaming, which is great, but you don't want to watch someone who sucks. So, okay. We'll win this one. It's a level nine. You're bad. I know. Okay, please. Okay, Jess, please. Just let me let me prove to you this game. This game. Ready? So we're gonna go. Uh, let's go goblins on this side. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna think he's smart and counter this. But balloon on that side. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay, nice. Uh, we're going to have to place this here. Oh, he's got some range, that buddy. I, d I don't know. I've never dealt with this guy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this. don't know about this. Okay, he's going to take that tower. That's fine. We do this to support him. Otherwise, we just... Like, it's for morale. I am bringing the community together. By me losing. Okay, so let's go, Love Hound. Oh, come on. I am so cold. Today was a nightmare. I've been up since four o'clock in the morning. Uh, not four o'clock, sorry, five o'clock. Just because we in our house we had no electricity and no gas. So we have been freezing and it was snowing. So, yeah, damn right, it's nice moves. The best dancer there is. They don't call me, uh, the da Jack the Dancer Tron for nothing. So, like, one day, one day, if you try hard enough, you can have moves like this. Oh, did you see that? Like, the sprinkler, the wizard. Or you could do, like, the Clash Royale dance moves, like, um, I don't know, and. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I was going to try and do the witch, but I have no clue how to do a witch dance move.
Um, right, okay. Uh, it wasn't... It was alright. It, it was tough. It was a tough day, but... Um, I stayed positive through the whole thing. I found it funny. I was like, you know what? It's funny that it's going, like, really bad. It's funny that I am, like... I was just laughing at my own suffering, so... I guess that's a good way to look at it. It's like, I was quite light, light-hearted about it. Please, please, please. Oh, this is going to be a bloody f fighting. This is going to be a challenge, this one. I did sad win, so you know what? I'm going to sweat this. Right. Come on, mate. Come on. Oi, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, son. Come on. Easy as that. First game. How's it going, dude? How's it going, King? How are you today? I'm doing good. Did you see that fat win? That was beautiful. Right, let's start that. Booting that up. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you caught me on a good one, let's be honest. It was like it happens like once every like thirty games. Uh Finally, see, there we go. See, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just too bad. Uh... Right, uh, I'm gonna actually push this on this side just so you can. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him. No way. 4,000. See? No. Jess, this is who you have to be listening to, King. He's, he's hitting 4,000. I'm I'm, so, <laughs> I'm struggling to stay in 2,000. So, jeez. That's insane, dude. He just traded a fireball. That's fine. Oh no! Already, that was so quick. <laughs> it's fine. You can like King more. I'll allow it. It's like. How can you compete with someone who's getting 4,000 trophies like it's nothing? Oh my god, I don't get why people like play like the sneaky minor for the last push. It's so irritating. Because it's like such a cheesy move. Can I even do enough to that yet? No, I can't. I want to wait and there we go. So who would take that? That's fine. Uh, will I kill this straight off the bat? I think if I do this, I will. Because it'll get one hit. Come on. One hit, maybe? One. No, not even one hit. Not even one hit. It was hard to get to Fulker. Yeah, I bet, like. Yeah. That must have, it, it must have been a pain. I don't, I don't doubt it. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, I made it. I got it. So now it's now staying into this stage. Uh, place. Oh my god, please. I drag shotted that. In my head, that was like the right move, but I accidentally. Um, if I. Oh. 
Okay, so what happened there was that I was using my mouse and I got carried away with the knight, okay? My knight was going to attack the witch and the wizard and then hit them together. But me, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to be sick. And I just dragged it out of position, so he just... He just went full force. I would substitute Valkyrie for Knight. Oh, really? Okay, okay. I'll listen to you. Um, my, But the only reason I've got Knight at the moment over Valkyrie is because of... Uh, my Knight's level 8 and... For area effect, yeah, yeah, blast damage, I get ya. But it's just my Valkyrie's level 5, that seems quite weak. I'll trust you, though, dude. You're the, you're the one who knows it all, so I'll trust you. <laughs> but Valkyrie sucks. No, she doesn't. She's actually like a really big tank. Tunk? Tunk? She's a big tunk. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> you hate her. Oh no. Uh, let's go. Dropping. I'm dropping the Valkyrie by itself. It's fine. I think this is the play. So if I go Valkyrie, Inferno, Arrows, that'll be decent, right? Now. I use that. De oh, Deccan is good. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I arrowed that because I was just pre-warning. I was kind of hoping that he was just going to be like, you know what, let's quickly key oh, kill it. So. I don't know what to play. It's not playing anything. It's being really, like, passive. Right, I'm going to keep this now this time. Oh, did you see that, King? Did you see that play? Oh. How beautiful. Uh, right, let's go. Oh my god. You know what? I hate Miner. Miner and Golem are the worst cards in the game. I despise them. Uh, let's go. Okay, ready? Okay, that's fine. Ah, it crashed. My game can't handle these frames. I'm, wi I'm winning too much. <laughs> you agree with that? Yeah, they are so frustrating. It's like Golem, for some reason, because he's so slow, it makes him OP. Because it's not the fact that, well, he's the strongest tank in the game. For sure. And then when he's the strongest tank in the game. He's also the slowest in the game. Which ends up meaning that when he's placed behind the tower. He is trucking along. And just minding his own business. Trucking along minding his own business. When he ends up getting this like. Massive like buddy behind him who's like just gonna splash damage everything and then you can drop a pekka behind him You can do basically whatever you want and it's disgusting Right, okay, so we've got I've, we've got this I'll be shocked if we lost this Okay, we we need the lava drake really, don't we? Fuck me. I'm gonna place that. I'm placing this. This is This is how we're this is how we're winning. We're not winning by defending all the time, we'll just get a draw. I always tank with balloon. Really? Okay. I just okay, we have nineteen seconds. Nineteen seconds, let's go. Could have got a free count crown here. We could have actually. No, no we couldn't have. 
Bow ends in 10. I told you this was going to go to a draw. It's such a cheese win. Such a cheese game. Okay, go on. Just hit it. Just hit it. Easiest game of my life. Jesus Christ. I always tank with a balloon. I, I, I don't get why. Why would you tank with a balloon, though? Because then he's just... I guess... But I... Maybe I'm too greedy with it. I just really want him to do the detonation on the actual tower. That's why I'd never do it. I always tank with lava. I always have this method as well, obviously. Um, I always get rid of silvers and keep the golds to just do overnight. Just because the silvers are pointless. Uh, okay, so... Tank with balloon... The tank takes damage. Is the balloon a tank? I guess he is. He's just he's just he just does so much damage. Look look at that. He does so much damage that I just assume that I should keep him. That's why I attack. That's why I always seem to survive with the lava hound. How do I kill miner? Please, please tell me. Like, what's the best way to kill miner? I don't even know how miner works. I haven't got to a high enough level where I can actually play miner. I don't think. Or is that a lie? Oh, <laughs> get wrecked, son. Oh, we've all done that before. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this, this is a free one. This is a free one. He's giving this to us. I love Inferno Drake. I know Inferno Drake's quite a weak card. But he does... Look, he just he's just eating away. He's just eating away at that tower. It's beautiful. Whew. Okay, we got a chest here. Yeah, my, um, that's pretty sick here at 4,000. My, uh, clan I'm in, what a day. Yeah, a lot of them are in, like, the, like, just hit 4,000 area. I'm, like, the lowest in my clan. It's kind of really sad. It's like, look at me, all the way down, 45, 45 out of 50. How embarrassing is that? It's disgusting. It's like, oh, my God, they, they pity me. They're like, oh, it's fine, Jack, we'll, we'll make you a deck. We'll make you a deck. We'll teach you how to play it. It's called Chess Royale. I think I've checked it out before. Oh. Uh. oh, come on, dude. Chess Royale. It's a South African clan. Okay. Let's see if I find that. Is it this one? King, there you go. Found you. How long have you been playing? I've been playing for like, uh, when did I start? Uh, when did I go to Paris? Uh, when did I go to Paris? That was, was it September? Or was it? No, it was October. So, basically beginning of November. So I've been doing it for a month and a bit now. So it's a long time, Jess. A long time. But yeah, yeah, I see you. I see ya. See you trucking there. What are you playing? Oh, it's... Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I did. I went to... Um, me and my girlfriend went to Paris and we started... Um, we went... Um, Oh no, my phone charge is gone. I got this. It had ears. It had ears at the beginning. So. Uh, but it's pretty cool. It's meant to be Sully from Monsters, Inc. And yeah, we went to Disneyland Paris. Uh, we saw Moulin Rouge. Uh, did quite a lot of stuff there. We saw Moulin Rouge. Went to all the different sites. And yeah, it was a very, very fun time. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. I can't believe you're playing the um, Royal Giant deck. Isn't that like the... I don't want to say it, but it's not like the scummiest deck in the game. I don't know. <laughs> it's cool. you got to do what you got to do to get the wins. No, Josh. You're in Frozen and you've only played for a month. Is that good? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that sounds bad to me. It's like, how I, how I sit is I've played this game for an entire month. And, um, and I'm still that. Yeah, it's Rosie, look. Can you see her? On, let's check the stream. It's, it's my cat called Rosie and she's a piece of, piece of work. Rosie! Oi, say hi. Rosie! Come on. She's camera shy. You made her. You made her shy. That's amazing. Cheers, dude. It's good. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing here, buddy? Okay, there you go. Um. Oh. Wait, she needs to... She likes to get comfortable and, like, lay on my lap when I game. I also have a cat. What's your cat's name? Sorry, she's blush brushing her tail over the mic. Come on, Louise, please. No, Louise? Rose. What kind of cat is she? Uh, black cat. Rosie, say hi. <laughs> She's adorable. Okay, yeah. But, you know, do you know what the most annoying thing is? When you're trying to game and a cat nudges you, so do, 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 do you want to chill out? So, okay, let's get back into gaming. Right. Good girl. We aren't sure. Uh, I don't know. It's just a black cat. The name. <laughs> and name. Um, the name is the... The call and the name... Well, the name is Rosie, like Ro Rosalina, like Rosita, don't know, all of these different names I call her, on the daily. Hey, how's it going, Division? Hey, long time, I haven't, like, this is the first time I haven't seen it, yeah, I know, I haven't actually been in this, like, rank yet, I am still so bad at this game, I, like, I pump myself up, I'm, like, I'm ready to go, I'm gonna start getting some wins, and then... What ends up happening is someone, you know, you know how it is. Someone just randomly pops out of the balloon and, like, free crowns you every game. And it really doesn't feel good. So, I'm, try I'm trying. It's very frustrating, though. There's, I admire everyone who gets so high in this game. Like, I am, I'm just really bad at it. Like, really, really bad. Right, okay, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking Lava Hound, because this turret's already done. Uh, actually, no, Lava Hound here. I think that was the right play, because now they're going to follow it. Try the balloon decoy rage deck, I've been seeing it around everywhere. Isn't that, um, wasn't that used in the um, sudden death challenge, if you um, played that? It was like, um, lumberjack, balloon decoy... It was it was something on them lines. It was it was pretty cool. It was like um, if did you actually play the challenge in the end? Did any did any of you try it? Challenge King, did you try it? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't Jess, um, Jess, I don't think you can actually play this and um, play the challenge. I think you have to be level eight. It was like um, some just sudden death one. It was pretty sick. Okay, do you see this? No, look, watch him, watch him burn down this tower. Oh, oh, beautiful. Okay, so we are just going to wait. We've won this. 
It's no no need to be aggressive. Just that's that's the only the only reason I ever lose is because I am too aggressive. I I just think in my head I have to. I tried, but I can get far. Well, <laughs> okay. So what happened was. I had, uh, <laughs> I had like 10, like, um, what was it? I had like 20 gems at the time. And I was like, okay, you know what? This is going to be an awesome video. Because I thought the challenge before that, the, um, the chess challenge, the challenge before that, um, you could, once you lost, you could pay 10 tro um, gems to play again. So I was like, right, okay, this is going to be great. Because I can make some awesome YouTube content and start like playing this and it's going to be really fun. And then... I get stomped first round. I didn't win a single game and I lost three instantly. And I recorded that and I was like, right, that lasted literally three minutes and it was just me losing. And then it was a hundred gems to try again, which was ridiculous. So I actually didn't play it again, but it looked really fun. Uh, I tried to get far. I just need the gold for the night. Um, which is that? Yeah, exactly. What's going on? Did you get um? Did you get the legendary chest here? Pretty cool. They do such a smart deal with their marketing. Like if you've ever like if you um like see their marketing and how they do stuff, it's insane because it's like you look at this. I bought a deal when it popped up. Which was um, one thousand, uh, no, one hundred thousand gold, twelve hundred, um, twelve hundred gems, and a ma magical chest, right? So then we look at a magical chest that's seven hundred and twenty gems, which is equivalent to about seven pound. So then we um, seven pound UK, um, seven pounds, and then we look at this, which is four fifty. Four fifty is around. Uh, let's go doubled that so we're looking about 35 pounds so we do 35 pound plus the seven which is 42 and so you're looking and then that's not even just including that i got the gems as well as so in there they do such a good job because obviously that's the plan like unless you're getting sponsored you're never gonna ever pay for fourteen thousand gems What card's that? Need to buy her. Is she... What? No way. That's a her? Are you talking about this? Or do you mean Lava... Lava Hound? Which one's a she? How the hell do you know their gender? How do you know the gender? I want... But when I opened that chest, no, d oh, Night Witch, Night Witch. Um, yeah, I want Night Witch. I there's loads. Of, I really want graveyards as well. I don't know how much how if I play it enough, but you know when you just get stomped by like a graveyard minor deck. I just want them two cards, and I want Bandit. I want every single legendary. Um, I really want to try out some cool decks. Like these are the only legendaries I've got at the moment. So. If you've got any sick decks you want me to try out, please tell me out. Tell me and I'll check them out and learn our plan. Oh, really? She's a lava hound. Lava hound's a girl. Damn. I would. <laughs> I think that'd be like bestiality or something. Pro pretty fucked up. I don't think I'll allow that in Supercell. Oh, speaking of the devil. And she shall appear. Right. Um, we are going to play, I guess play this. Right, okay, this should be good. How's it looking? Okay, so, but do you love how does females are too? Okay, sorry, I did read that. Damn, that's such a nice hit. I love this. I love this game. It's such a fun game. It's the most stressful game in the world. You help. Okay, d does it work, does it? Uh. 
against Night Witch. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll try and see if that I'll use Night Witch. When when Night Witch comes out, I'll use um I'll play that to counter it. I guess I'll play this. True, we have our ups and downs. Um. Oh, please. My game is just like, you know what? No. Oh, my God. The Night Witch. See, my Night Witch gets wrecked by that. So, I don't know. I'm talking about that. Uh, what do I play here? I go and plus this, I guess. And then I play this. And then I play this over here. Ah, uh, witch, please. Witch, please. My game is dropping frames for some reason. I don't know why. It's like, oh my god, please, stop lagging for me. It, it, it can't handle it. This game is so intense. Oh my god, if I missed that, I would have literally ended the stream right now, deleted my channel, and said goodbye. Oh my god, that was a beautiful placement by here. Uh, let's just place Valkyrie here to just slice up this girl. Ready? Ready? Shing! Okay, not Valley, because... Ah. Oh. He 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 outplayed me. He outplayed me. Uh, no, I wouldn't say good work yet, because he just won. See, that's what happens. You give me support. You give me the upbeat and say you're doing well, Jack. You're doing well. And then what happens? I get stomped. It's because it get it gets to my head. Okay, King. It just gets to my head, and I don't know how to deal with it. I'm like, right, okay. So. What did we end this on? We ended it on two chests. What did we get for this? What have we got to level up? What is key ones to level up? Because I'm trying to... I've only got 50 XP away. We might as well level up one more card. What's a go-to card to level up? This is what's fucked me over. I'm level 9 and I play against loads of level 9 too. Or level 8. That haven't got every single card to a certain level. They scrap, stay like the um, triple musketeers and stuff like that they scrap them all just so they can get these certain cards really high which is the right thing to do for me I did not do that so so what what deck do I like playing I guess that's the best way to prioritize what cards to level up so I've got this at the moment uh, my fireball needs to be leveled up uh, can't do that yet we need to level up one more thing what, what are we gonna pick guys what do we need to pick what do you think I have got bats. Bats might be a good pick. Bats is always a nice pick, right? What does that give us? Five damage. How much? How much impact does that have? Five. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, lightning, uh, I think we should just go for bats. I, I'm going to go for, it's either bats or minion horde. Bats or minion horde. I haven't used minion horde that much. But that doesn't mean I should. I'm going to go bats, because I've said it multiple times and I like saying the word bats. Minion, oh, for fuck's sake, King. I'm done. Okay, fine. Minion horde it is. You happy now? We turned level 9 with Minion Horde. Is that what you wanted, King? <sighs> there we go. And that's what we got. Boom. Level 9. We're in there, boys. And girls. Anyway. That being said. I have got to go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by the Division 454. King and Jess. Thank you so much. 
and Richard at the beginning. I've been Jack. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, please share around, please get the community growing, and I'll check you out. So if you've got any channels, if you've got any stuff, please leave it in the comments down below. I'll check out your channels, I'll check out your videos, and we'll help each other grow. So I've been Jack. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!